All right, guys, welcome to episode 163 of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly low key? Got John here with me, and we're back with another one. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we drop. Go down in the description, get yourself some merch if you haven't done so already. And listen, man, go check us out on Patreon. That's where the real fun happens. That's where we talk. You know what I'm saying? Real stuff. We be talking and, uh, real shit. Yeah, man. That's where it goes down at. So don't forget to check us out over there. But we're back with another one. It's a beautiful day. How we feeling, Johnny? How we feeling? Feeling good, man. I just came out of prison. <laughs> I just did fucking 15 years. He just picked me up. You know what I mean? You see how I'm dressed? I got the white shorts. I got the white shirt. Nah, I'm just playing. Nah, I'm feeling good, Disrespectful. bro. Disrespectful. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody that just got out for real shit. Thump for you real. over the head. For real. Nah. I'm, I'm feeling like an angel. Out of the clouds, you know what I mean. I'm feeling good today. Yeah, feeling nice. Bro, it feel it feels good today, man. Yeah. It's not cold. It's not hot. You know what I'm saying. Nice cool. day out. Windy. You know what I'm saying. Like it's a nice day. Yeah. It's a nice day. But uh, nice day to be alive. Yeah, bro. It's a nice day. You know what's a nice day for? For some of y'all's to move the fuck out your mom's house. <laughs> <laughs> straight to <laughs> it. We're gonna get straight into this. All right. Straight into it, bro. Listen, bro. At what point <laughs> should you get the fuck out? <laughs> now, for at what point should you move out Oof. and get your own spot or maybe go half with a buddy or whatever? You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like when you're not just financially ready, but when you're mature enough to do so. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to be financially ready overall, though. Like, you can't just go fucking wing it. You got to have a plan. You got to have money coming in. Make sure you're able to pay for this shit every month. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, it's true. There's certain things you got to have in order, bro. It can't just be, oh, I'm tired of hearing my mom bitch or I want to move out. It's like, well, what do you have planned? Do you have any money saved? Do you have a backup plan? I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, if you don't have no type of income coming in that you know for sure, like it's going to be coming in, then I wouldn't really, you know, risk it, man. You know, put the stress on it. You know, take care of your mom, buy her groceries, you know, clean the house, do certain things that will help your mom out or your dad. And, just save your money. Yeah. That's save it. your money, bro. And then when you're ready, nice and ready, get the fuck out, though. Man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I wish I, I could. I feel like that should be the goal, though. Like, Man. some people just want to, you know what I'm saying? They're like, oh, why am I going to go move out when I could just live here? Why am I going to get a car when I could use mom's? And I feel like that's a, that's a bad way of thinking. It's yeah. Like, nigga, like, if you're home, take advantage, save your money, but be planning to get the fuck out. Like, be yeah. in the motion of, like, nigga, I'm saving this bread to go get my own shit. Yeah. Not like, like, I'm just saving this bread to go blow it and then, like, just still live here for free. Yeah. You know like what I, mean? I, like, I see people riding their bicycles to work. Like, you don't even know that situation. Maybe he's trying to save it for a car. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You got to think about it like that. Like, bro, you got to do what you got to do at the end of the day. That's facts, bro. That's facts. Like, people don't realize that shit. You got to do this is life. Like, you can't fucking give a fuck what anybody else thinks. Because, yeah, that guy's riding the bicycle to the fucking, to Winn-Dixie, but he's probably going to pull up in another fucking car pretty soon and be shitting on all y'all. Listen, man, it don't you take know? long to come up. And that's why, it, like, it amazes certain people, but it's like, nigga, all he did was focus and work for the, for the last two years, and he went from there to there. Like, he went from riding the bus or riding a bike to pulling up in a, in a BMW. Yeah. That ass. It happens. Nigga pulls up now. His car's better than everybody else. I was making fun of him a year ago. But and it happens. You know what I'm saying? That's Every just day. how it goes. That's just how it goes. But yeah, I feel like that that's the answer to that, man. Like, that's my answer to that. Like when you're financially ready, when you're mature enough to handle life and like handle the responsibilities that come with it and not have to call your mom every other fucking month to make up for your fucking rent and shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm telling you, bro, there's a lot of niggas that move out, bro, and that's what happens. It's like, bro, you weren't ready. Like, you should have just kept saving your money. You yep. know what I'm saying? Like, but. And hey, you realize, you realize too, when you move out, like, you realize, like, man, how much money you really do save. Like, was you just staying home? Like, you know what I mean? And Facts. But crazy. honestly, bro, I, it, it's a good price to pay for the peace of mind of having my own shit. Yes. Because yes. I wouldn't give, like, it's, I got my own shit. And I, like, if I don't want nobody here, no reason to be here. Yeah, exactly. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Like, certain yeah. things, like, you, you, it's your place it's you you're in control yep and to me bro that's worth it yeah it like, is that's worth, worth it. that's worth having, yeah. having them bills Cause, bro because money comes and goes and that <clears throat> like you should want want to take care of your family and and have a certain amount of money to do so but it's not everything and it's like people are way too focused on that it's like oh i could just like not be productive and save money it's like 
that's pretty much how I look at it sometimes. In some yeah, cases, yeah, it's like yeah. you're just taking advantage of your parents, bro. Yeah. You're not you're not making any I, plan to better yourself. You're really just taking advantage of your parents. Yeah, and I know like, some people like that too. And it's even worse when you're married and you got kids and stuff like that. And it's nigga, like, bro, it's even worse. Bro, I it's don't like, care if you're on. 21 or 31. If you have a wife and children, you should not be living at, at your parents' house. No, nah, you You're a grown ass fucking man, nigga. No, nah, Be for a real. grown ass fucking man, nigga. Like, you need to eat some shit. Like, like Gary Vee says. Be a grown man, bro. Eat some exactly. shit. Exactly. Eat some shit. Like, I've said it before, nigga. Go move out. Be broke for yeah. a couple weeks. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Figure it the fuck out because that's how life is. Yeah. And that's how, like, a lot of people are so sheltered in that that when they go hit the real world, bro, they get depressed. They want to, they get suicidal and shit because they can't fucking handle it, bro. Like, yeah. Nigga, it's, you got to know how to handle different. being an adult. Yeah. It's different when you have kids and responsibilities. If you're single and whatnot, you do whatever the fuck you want, but. You know, I feel like you should save your money regardless. But if you got kids and wife and what all, all that bullshit, you should be out and about. Yeah, going doing your thing. That's for like, sure. But now, nah, some of y'all need to get the fuck out your mom's house, nigga. She wants she wants you to get out. Yeah. <laughs> she wants you out. Nigga. Like I wouldn't want that my house. I wouldn't want my grandkids in my house. Yeah, no fuck. No. Unless they visiting. No, nah, nigga. Once or you're staying, certain, I'm telling you, like it's different. Like people have to go back home sometimes, even as adults. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like make a plan and get out. Make a plan and get out and set yourself a date. Like, yo, in six months, in nine months, in one year exactly for, from today, I'm going to be out of here. Yeah. I'm going to be on my own again. Like, yeah, I'm fucked up right now, but I'm not here to just mooch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, straight up. That but is, man. That's how it goes, man. It's what it is. We speaking facts. That's how money works. You know what I'm saying? And the thing about money is, bro, like, men and women are different when it comes to money, right? Like, men, we're the type where we'll work our ass off for 10, 15 years to build something. To take care of a family. You know what I'm saying? Like, once we come across money, real men. Because yeah, I, I know there's going to be people in the comments, women in the comments. Oh, well, you know what I'm saying? Men don't always do that sometimes, men, whatever. Nah, real men. Real men take care of their family once they get their money. You know what I'm saying? But women, a lot of women, most of the time, that's when they don't need a man and they want to be living their best life. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, it... it that's how I feel. I feel like I feel like women like really need to understand this. There's we're not talking about all women now. You know what I mean? We're talking about just a, a small percentage, maybe a large. I don't know. I'm not too. I'm not 100 percent sure on the percentage. Might be of big. That. Might be small. Might be shit. Might be good. I don't know. Sometimes cheat. Sometimes good. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm gonna be real, man. Like when when I want it when I like when I get money. Pretty much, I want to take care of my family, and 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 if my wife has dreams and 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 aspirations and stuff, stuff like that like you know what i mean i'm gonna supply it and do whatever i can to make that dream happen for some women when they get money they feel like they don't need a man whatsoever like whatsoever they feel yeah. like it's like but that's the thing and that goes back to people being too focused on money like you don't need a man for yeah. financial things but you still need a fucking man like to be like honestly like to be happy and be like, people want to act like they don't need each other, bro. Yeah. That's the generation we live in. Like, I don't fucking need you. Fuck you. Like, I don't need nothing from nobody. I don't need nobody. And it's like, bro, that's so wrong. Like, we're yeah. social creatures, bro. Yeah, we At help. the end of the day, bro, you need other people. Yeah, you help, it's, you help it's, each other out. It's good for your emotional health, bro. Yeah. Like, it's good for your emotional health, bro. It's like, you can't, like, being, being isolated and being alone, too. Like, some people need it. But it could get dangerous, bro. Like Jim Carrey talks about it. It could get dangerous because then you don't want to deal with nobody. And it's like, that's not how the real world works, bro. Like, you got to get out there. You got to talk to people. You got to interact. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know, man. It, it's That's a good that's a good point, bro. Like, that's a good way of viewing it. Like, I'm just saying, man. Some women are just kind of, you know, they're out there. You know, once they get some bread in their hands, they're like, ah, fuck man fuck this guy man fuck fuck man i don't need them you know what i mean i'm gonna treat them how they do me like it's like nah bro when i get my bread bro i'm hoping i don't have to spend it alone yeah that's sad. like that's the you know what i mean live, like, bro. Like, like like having money is like it's boring it's not once you do everything especially in the if you're book, the only one that got it like j cole said like what's the fun if my niggas can't have none it's like bro you know what like, I'm saying? it's like bro like if i'm the only nigga in the room that has bread that's sad too Cause it's like Damn bro Like I either gotta take care Of everybody Or yeah. like It's just Niggas can't do it Yeah You know what I mean It's no fun if your homies Ain't on either bro Like I don't know bro And some men are like that too Where they, they get some money In their hands They start acting different They you know They separate You know I'm not trying to 
go after the women because it's both. Nah, yeah, it happens. You know what I mean? It but, happens. But to be honest, speaking facts, but like it's more more women, I would think. You know what I mean? When they get the bread in their hands. Yeah. You bro. know what I mean? It's, and that's just my opinion. Like it's weird, bro. Men are more family oriented nowadays than women. Like there was a switch at some point. Where like women used to be the ones that were really more family oriented and they wanted a family. They wanted to be a wife and a bride and this and that. Now it's different. Now like, the like, men want the family, they yeah. want the marriage, they want this, and women want to live their best life until they're thirty five and been ran through and now your pussy mileage is too is too high. <laughs> that pussy mileage is too high, baby. You ain't yeah. You're gonna you're gonna get stuck with a man that already has a baby mama and two other kids. Yeah. Real talk. Like that's just how that shit goes sometimes. Somebody told me like, yo, like if you don't want kids, you're selfish. Yeah. And if you if you think about if you think in an I mentality and not a we mentality for your family, you're selfish. Like a lot of people was like Dame Dash called out uh DJ Envy one day. Where he's like, bro, I keep hearing you say I. He said, like, You keep talking about you. I'm talking about my fucking son. I'm talking about my kids. I'm talking about leaving son. Yeah. Like you talking about fucking coming up and cars and this and that. Nigga, I'm talking about businesses for my family. There's a difference. And it's true. Like some niggas just want to flex. Some niggas want the money to flex. And some niggas want the money to like, nigga, I wanna I wanna make sure my grandkid don't have to fucking work if they don't want to. Like they could just go start a business and keep it running. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's different goals for different people. And everybody's different. You know what I'm saying? Like if that's what you want to do, bro, go for it. Like, if that's what makes you really happy, though. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the thing. Like, people do shit that don't, it, they don't really make you happy. Yeah. It's just, you're trying to put out a perception for other people to think of you a certain way. And it's like, that don't make you happy, though. Mm-hmm. Like, really do what makes you happy. If that's what makes you happy, go for it, nigga. That's what makes you happy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But don't ever do nothing for other people. Like, fuck yeah. <laughs> like, for real. Like, some people just, like, have different chapters in their life, bro. You know? Yeah, you gotta grow, bro. Like everybody's different, and who knows? You might not get married, bro. Real talk. Everybody ain't gonna get married. <laughs> Everybody ain't gonna have kids. Real shit. Like real shit. Real Just shit. keeping it like keeping it real. Like, cause let's keep it real, guys. Not everybody goes through that. Do I want to? I would love to. I would absolutely love to. Of course. You know, course. I would love to have that. You know, speaking about weddings and speaking about having kids, like getting into that. Like, I don't know if I would tell anybody. Like, what? like I don't think I would only tell like a certain amount of people. Like, I'll keep it really private. Like, I won't be posting on Facebook that I'm having a kid. I won't be, you know, the baby shower won't be fucking huge. Like, I'm just I'm gonna keep shit private. Like, yeah, that's just, I agree. Like, that's just how I am. Like, I don't know. I feel like getting old, getting older, you start to realize like a lot of people don't really give a fuck. They don't got the the best intentions and stuff like that. So, I'd rather just keep it private. That's facts. That's facts, bro. That's it. Listen, man. It's just part of growing up. That's why, like, adults, most people are just focused on building their life and their family, bro. Yeah. That's how you got to be because ain't nobody going to do it for you. And if my wife... And nobody gives a fuck about you and your family or your situation like you do. Yeah. You're in that situation, not them or them. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... And, like, you know, sometimes, you know, the birth doesn't go through right sometimes. You know, when people be... scary, You know, I don't want to tell anybody about my business because, you know, they put bad intentions. And there's bad people in this world. Everybody ain't happy for you, bro. You know, and it's just, that's the way I think. I don't know. Nah, Maybe I'm I, just crazy. It's true. I feel the same way, bro. Like, everybody's not happy for you. You tell somebody you're having a kid, bro, they got malice behind it. They might have been able to try to have a kid for two years, and they feel like you're just rubbing it in their face or something. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is selfish-minded. So they think about themselves like, oh, you're trying to you're trying to throw this in my face? Like, why? Why are you trying? Like, what do you do? Like, what's the intention? You know what I'm saying? And it's like, bro, they're just... They thought you they were that you were a good friend and they want to share good news. Yeah, exactly. It's not about you. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? It's about them having their moment right now. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I, I, I stopped doing after a while? You know, and it's kind of like a negative thing. It's like, you know, when somebody's talking good about themselves and trying to hype them up, I'm the type of person to sit there and hype you up and keep going. Mm-hmm. I don't like to bring up shit about me. Yeah. When we're talking yeah. about you, when the spotlight's on you, you telling me something about your job, and I'm saying, you know, wow, yeah, bro, you deserve it, bro. Yeah, you, you know, facts, you know those facts. type of people that switch it up and be like, well, you know, well, me, you know, you know, yeah, I got this. Yeah. Like, nah, like, and I, that's, I, you like, know, it's crazy. I don't, I don't Jordan, like that. Jordan Peterson was talking about that. He's like, that's how you could tell a real friend from a fake friend. If you could share good news and they help you celebrate, they're a real friend. 
If you share good news and they brought up the one time that their fucking uncle's cousin did the same thing, them niggas ain't listening to you. Yeah. They're just trying to compete with you. They can't, yeah. And in some type of way, they're trying to pull something like, oh, well, my boy did the same thing. And it's like, well, we were, weren't talking about your boy. <laughs> we're talking about me right now. But it's cool. You know what I'm saying? And you're absolutely right, bro. Like, that's just how this shit goes, man. But I, know, I, I noticed it, though, but I pay attention to detail. Like, that's how far I pay attention to everything. You know, like you just got to listen, bro. Facts. People can't wait to tell you about them. You just got to like, shut the fuck up. And it's cool. It's cool to like everybody has their turn, but you should you should know your turn. And, Facts. and, and, let, and be happy when it's somebody else's turn. But that's yeah. not how people think. And some guys maybe that's, oh, that's kind of like that's just sensitive. Bro, there's people out here, bro. Like you got to really be kind of considerate, you know, for, for other people and shit. Like some people just don't care. And it's like, bro, I, I'm brought up a different way. You know what I mean? And after yeah, seeing that, yeah, I saw facts. that video. And that's why I'm bringing it up, because it's true. You know what I mean? I was like, man, that's that's facts. Bro, everybody don't have the same moral that's compass facts. as you. Everybody don't have the same upbringing as you. Everybody don't have the same integrity you do. And you can't try to hold people up to that bar. Like, you know you. And you're like, yo, I would never do that to a friend. Your friend might do that to you. Like, you can't change them. You can't sit here and be mad at them. You just got to understand and be like, okay. Yeah. I see now. You know what I'm saying? And it's cool. Now I know where to play. Like, that's why you, you compartmentalize, like, in life. Like, you're like, all right, well, this is the friend that I can't come talk to this about. I can't come talk to him about this. You know what I'm saying? Because he ain't really going to listen. He's not really into that. So that's not his category. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why, like, you talked about before, like, knowing the positions your friends play. Like, you can't make your fucking running back go be fucking a tight end. Yep. It's not going to work. It's not. You know what I'm saying? But that's just that's just how that shit go, bro. That's life and shit. You know what I'm saying? You remember when uh, we were talking about uh, music? You know what I mean? And when people start listening to music. And I was riding with somebody the other day. And, you know, I just wanted to see how, how, how she thought. You know what I mean? What's her thought process? You know, mm -hmm. like, whoa. And don't get me wrong. I love that trap shit. I love that. Yeah, facts. I love that that gritty shit. I love that, you know, talking that bullshit. Mm -hmm. You know? So I shouldn't be the one saying this, but... You know, I'm riding and she's just like, yo, like, man, turn your shit off. She put her shit on and it was like some, hey, I'm going to fuck this guy, blah, 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 blah take his money. I'm going to do it. You know, it was like some Megan the style, you know, hot, hot girl shit, yeah, you know, yeah. like, and I'm Same thinking in my head, shit. like, man, is that how you really think? You know, I'm sitting in the car like, oh, that's how she really thinks. Yo, I was like, damn, all right. You know, I'm still going to fuck you. But <laughs> you ain't gonna take my money. <laughs> you, you know what's fucked up? We're on the way to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> no, she took your money. She, she took, took my, my money. And we were just talking about this last episode. You know what I mean? I went to and guess who paid, bro? You know what I mean? Hey, bro. Hey, bro. You gotta make it do what it do. You, know you gonna saying? make that shit. <laughs> you know what I mean, but yeah, bro. So you could tell oh, by a person's man. like mindset, you know, from their from their playlist and music. Yeah. You yeah, know, it's fucking facts, bro. And it's like, yeah, that's why I watch the niggas that be listening to the niggas that rap about nothing but robbing niggas. It's like, I gotta watch you, bro. Yeah, for real. Because all you listen to is how you're gonna stick a nigga up. For real. Say yeah, less. yeah, you listen to a whole bunch of shit. Some shiesty ass shit. Gremlin perk ass nigga. Yeah, you hear me? Gremlin perk face ass. Yeah, yeah I took a perk. Did I turn to a gremlin? I might. Man, so, bro, everybody Holy First they're a shicey motherfucker and, You know, oh and now they're a fucking God, gremlin bro. What's next? Bro, What's anything next? negative Anything <laughs> negative you can think of is gonna become popular <laughs> What the fucking hoodlums Nah, the next The next thing like, is gonna damn. be some fucking crazy shit oh, I mean, man, it's look, a gremlin Like, times some, change It's like, it's crazy, bro Like, I still pay attention to music And listen to hip hop and shit But honestly, it's like I could hear, my, I could feel myself getting older to the point where I don't listen to that shit in the next ten years, because it's just like, all right, bro. It's good in the moment when you're like, all talking like, about the same shit. You're all, you're all gonna shoot each other when you see each other, supposedly. But none of y'all do. I don't know. <laughs> it's so weird because the music is low key good. Nah, but it's fi it's fire, bro. It's yeah. fire, but it's like, but it's like, bro, it's I still, it's still like after a while. That's what I mean about like being an adult. Like you think about it, and after a while, you're just like, yo. How many niggas are you going to shoot? 
in, in your song. <laughs> I don't think How you shot anybody. Kill? I don't even think you shot anybody like recently. I think it's Bro, been like you might have never fucking held a well, real gun in never, your life. Yeah. <laughs> Some niggas are out there really rapping about that life, and it's like, nigga, you never. Held a real Did gun. He saw Lucci when he was holding that gun in the video. That nigga didn't look like he knew how to hold that bitch. He looked like he was going <laughs> to hurt himself, bro. There's people, man, that, you Niggas know. Niggas are stupid, bro. Nah, I bro. swear, man. You got, you like, got it, have some gun etiquette, bro. But that's natural selection. I don't even feel bad. Nah. Like, if you would have blew his foot off with that rifle, I would have been like, well, good for you, nigga. Maybe he, you learned something. He almost did, bro. That's some crazy shit, man. But yeah, bro, the music is, is really, uh, how you say that? It could be good or it could be bad. Yeah, you know, <laughs> it's one of those things. It's like angel and fucking. You have a responsibility as an artist, though. A lot of artists be like, "Oh, I'm not your fucking kids, parents. It's not my responsibility." But you're putting that out into the fucking ecosystem. You still have some type of responsibility. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. To me, it's irresponsible. It's like future, like rapping in every song about how he's on perks and drinking lean and this and that. And then when you ask him, he's like, "I don't even really do that shit." But he's like, "So why do you promote it?" Because kids l- listen to you and they're going to think that you're on it. So they're going to think that that's how you get your bars or whatever. Like they're kids. So they're thinking like, oh, if I want to be good like future, I got to drink a cup of lean and pop a fucking Zan. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, but you don't even do the shit. So it's like, it's a vibe. It's hype. And it's this and that. And it's like, I'll listen to future. No shots of future. But it's like, you got to understand it's an entertainment business, bro. You can't listen to a song. You got to explain that to your kids growing up. Like, yo, you hear this? This guy's not doing this. <laughs> If he was really fucking moving a hundred keys, you you don't think that and he's rapping about it. Man, you don't think the feds will be knocking at his motherfucking door, bro? Like, you, let's be real, bro. You remember we were jacking cars? <laughs> Come on, I bro. in front of the witness. Now it's not <laughs> safe for you. <laughs> You can make any song into a rock song, nah, too. It's kind of crazy. It is true, Music yo, is beautiful. It's true what Jack Boy said, though. I agree with him. He was like, yo, this nigga's talking about whacking me in front of the witness. He's talking about doing this. Like, y'all think this is real? Like, he was for, he's like, y'all think nah, this is real beef? No, they're friends, though. They're friends, though. They're but even fake. if they're not, do you think it's real beef? No, nah, nigga. No, like, no, you're not going to get on a song and talk about how you're going to whack this nigga in front of the witness. And then really do it. Yeah. <laughs> some you're going some, straight to fucking some jail. People, some people have I mean, done it. And them niggas, you never get famous because they're, yeah, yeah. they're sitting in a prison right now. I don't know, man. But I'm bro. telling you, bro, that's the that's the misleading that I'm talking about. Like, these niggas will rap about it, and then kids will think it's real. So they'll go catch a body and rap about it. And now they're like, well, am I in jail? Because they didn't really kill nobody. You nah, did. Nah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> now you're going to jail for a lot of time, motherfucker. <laughs> Nah, bro, but some people just got to fight with their insecurities, bro. I agree. I agree. You know, and some people just got to sit here and prove like they, they got to do something because something happened to them when they were a kid. And facts, facts. Insecurities, bro. It's insecurities. And, and it shows in different ways, man. Some people, you know what I'm saying? Some people show their insecurities as as being insecure. Like they're there, they're quiet, they're timid. You know what I'm saying? They don't really want whatever. And then other people... They're insecure too, but they're the complete opposite. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It's like they need to be the center of attention. They need this and that. But that's really from insecurity too. It's just you need that extra. Like you feel like you need that extra love. You need that extra praise. If not, you don't feel as good about yourself. Yep. So insecurities goes both ways, bro. Like there's people that that seem like they're not insecure, but they are. You know what I'm saying? Like, and we're all insecure, bro. We about all, something. We all have our own thing in our head where it's like, fuck, bro. Like, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, we're we, all insecure about yeah. something. And and it's, it's nothing wrong and, with it. It's human. It, yeah, it's like somebody being scared of something. Like, some people are scared of heights. You know, it's just part of an insecurity of just like. And you that, can't change it. You'll, yeah. Most likely, you'll never get afraid of being over, like, get unless, over of being afraid of heights. Unless you fucking go out and go fucking skydiving. It might make you more scared. It might. <laughs> or it might just help you out. Who knows? But that, that's true. The point is, I'm trying to say is, is that like you should fight and try to help yourself fight them insecurities, right? Like I know some people that don't like going to the beach. Why? Because they don't want to take their shirt off and they're insecure about that. I've had friends tell me that. Facts. What can facts. we do about that? All right. Well, what can we do about that? Nigga, Since you're telling yeah. me. Because the- you're telling me for a reason. That's so fact. what? Let's go to the gym. Let's get that body right. That's what we got to do. Real talk. Real you know what talk. I mean? And that's just keeping it real. Like, and if you don't want to do that, then don't talk about it. Facts. Don't bring it up to me. That's a fact. You know? That's the type of person I am. But yeah, that's just the positive thing I wanted to say. You know? Yeah, bro. Listen, man. Be you yourself. Know? You know what I'm saying? It's okay to be insecure. Like, my advice, go hang around people that are more confident. 
Yep. You know what I'm saying? Just hang around people that are more confident and pick up pick up traits and pick up certain things. You know what I'm saying? Like you can yeah. learn something from other people. You know exactly. What I mean? and, Everybody's confident in different things. Yep. Yeah. Learn yeah. from everybody, man. That's what we got to do. That's a fact, bro. Run of applause to that, bro. Run of applause yeah, to the bro. fucking wisdom. The wisdom we're dropping on y'all. Splash a ball juice on your fucking face. How about that? That's what you got to do, right? bro. We literally come on here and we fucking sit here and we talk our shit. Yeah, nah, bro. This is therapeutic it, to me, bro. Yeah. Like, this should be like this is this is like like a fucking therapy session. And I'm not I'm not gonna <laughs> like no say shit. I'm not gonna sit here and talk shit like because sometimes I hear some of my 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 clips on reruns and I'm like, man, like you know what? I need to start taking my own advice. Real talk, Real and then talk. I take it for me. You see what I'm saying? Like it's it, a lot of us are good at that, bro. Yeah. That's a human thing where it's yeah. like you might tell somebody how to go get a hundred thousand dollars, and they'd go and do it, but you haven't done it. You know what I'm saying? Like you know the information, you yeah. know, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's yeah. like that's just how life works, yeah. bro. Like yeah, that's just how it goes. That's you how it know, goes. but I know it's true, and it's good. It's good advice. So I rather give it give it to y'all. You know what I mean? Cause I be hearing it. I, I'm a, I'm a sponge. I soak it all in. Like most of the stuff I be talking about, I hear from other people. Yeah. And I Facts. take it. I'm like, wow, that's some real shit. I'm gonna remember that. I'm gonna talk about it. Spread it. Spread it with everybody else. That's real talk, bro. That's, that's point of dope talk. talk, baby. That's what we do. Listen, that's what we do. We love you. But I'll tell you what, man. I'll tell y'all fucking what. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, go down in the description, get yourself some merch. If you haven't done so already, go check us out on Patreon. And listen, overall, the most important thing, don't forget to tell somebody you love them. All right? Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. Yeah, baby.